Damn, everybody loves Mark. Hey, what's up, everybody? How you guys doing? We got Mercury here versus Fafnir. Oddly, I feel like I've, I think I've fought this exact matchup before, and maybe for a YouTube game. I'm pretty sure. But, yeah, this will be uh, interesting. I mean, Merc's not that great, but neither is Fafnir, so... We gotta get revenge on this Tubesies fellow, because he beat us earlier today. Uh, two points by one, one point by three, generally. Sometimes you can go, um... Sometimes you can go for your, uh, for your two, but it really depends uh, if you're gonna need your escape or not. Um, and if you're gonna, like, you know, try to initiate with your three at level three. Yeah, my clear is pretty ass, so he might even outclear us. I can feel safe using my one for initiation though, while he's got Mark of the Vanguard start. You know, he doesn't have much damage himself. We just can't do much to him. Hey, what's up, Guy Roos? Hello to you too. Are you asking me to shout out Argentina? Shout out to Ar Argentina. Hopefully we can just control this one uh, from the early game and keep going as long as we uh, keep our momentum up. I mean, the, if there's a big momentum swing, Fafnir or any like higher tier guardian can have a chance here. And this will be a big momentum swing. Fafnir scales into a pretty good late game. It's going to be hard for Merc to kill him, just like it is now, uh, as long as he keeps up with his uh, with a very defensive build. Wow, his jump is so quick. He got his ult, but look at this, he can't. He has absolutely no mana. If that came from me, I would've been pretty pissed. Ouch! Watch out! Whoa! Hit him with it, but not enough. I don't know if I have enough to even do red now. I should've. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. At least I got his shell. But red's Watch a little more important than popping an active at this point in the game. Yeah, Fafnir late game with the dragon is gonna be actually hey, you know, something to fear. Because he does a lot. He's a lot of damage. He's got, you know, two stuns. And for the most part, we shouldn't fight into it. His buff secure right now is really bad, though, so he's not gonna get that red or anything. Just... Uh. He's hoping to just get to a uh, better late where he can use his dragon form and rely on that entirely. And it might work. Over there. I can block his hammer here, but we gotta be careful. Oh, so close. Yeah, we made that really difficult for him. I have to go all the way around, and he almost still got it. Watch out! But yeah, Fafnir in the early game, if you pressure him while he's got just like Vanguard or whatever, like I said, you can see how hard it is for him. His clear potential is very low. His mana costs are heavy. Damn, I can't even jump over. Watch out! See, we're just piling up waves here. It might be very difficult for this man. First floor it is. I figured he would not try to go backward after I uh, after I used my one, figuring that I would put it behind him. So instead, I put it right where he was already standing, and he juked back and then back into it. That's a common trap you can throw out. 
when you have somebody in like a really high pressure scenario like that where they really want to find the juke. Yeah, so that's really what you want to do against Bathroom. You want to crush him so hard in the early that he doesn't even have a chance at getting into the late. I get love the oh, yeah. Pestilence because he does have the self heal with the two. He can really be a handful, so you never want to take him lightly. It seems like we're just like beating on a Guardian right now, but his potential is really high. It'll definitely rival Merc's, um, you know, later mid game to the late. Watch out! I'm surprised he didn't try to transform there, but we're so close ah. to my tower that he probably doesn't have kill potential. He's down a thousand gold right now. Yeah, in this position, I'll go Dev Gloves. Everybody loves Dev Gloves on Mercury. I generally don't because, uh, for the most part, I'm not fighting for the late. Watch I'm out. fighting higher tier gods. I'm fighting for the uh, for the early to mid. But in this scenario, we're definitely going towards the late. So. Watch out. You just gotta be a bully, you man. And, like I've been in this position this past year. It feels awful. I can probably even fight the Dragonborn right now, which, you know, generally you never want to do. Alright, maybe not. <laughs> close, though. Oh shit, close, close. Oh, wow. Ah, damn it. Okay, pop that shell. Ouch, that'll be Mark. Does he not know I can hit him here? God damn it, he tricked me! He tricked me! Over there! <laughs> I think he might have enough for his hammer, I'm not sure. Close. Watch out! God damn. Obviously, I can't do red again. We're in the exact same situation. But once again, we're bullying his tower. We're actually going to be able to just take it here. Just lay into it once or twice and let the minions do the rest so he doesn't come back and kill us. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy tower. Uh, Can that's... someone help me put this on? Somebody lied to me and told me that a blood forge is the knife that um, they use in Assassin's Creed, just like the hidden dagger thing, and it's technically called the blood forge. I looked into it. That does not seem to be the case at all. Is a blood forge even like technically anything? I don't know. I don't know what the hell it is. Get back here. I assume it's something that forges with your blood. Over there. Watch out. Let's take him down. I was trying to sound intelligent. This one guy in Punisher has one of those. I was like, you know, that's a blood forge. So Jen. I was like, what? And then I, I let him make sure. I looked it up. Not true. Where you go? Never believe the chat. Over there. Watch out. The day of the reckoning is upon me. Wow, I always fuck that up. Yeah, I always want to get the big play on Fafnir. But I always, always fuck up the timing. I don't know when he transforms. I don't fight him often, you know? It's tough. Tough to know, man. Let's go. Have a good one, kid of death. Hey, sometimes fish just won't cut it. Probably a shield of thorns. Probably mess with him quite a bit. Mm, now we gotta get a pen item. Trains, baby! Devoted blue, I'm 11 a months, almost a year. Thank you so much, man. You truly are devoted. I know I say that every time, but it's too hard to pass up, buddy. Thank you so much. Nightmare Adventures. Oh, make sure you guys check out um, Data Remembers YouTube because he has. I think he's the first one to have beaten the uh, the Nightmare mode. 
Um, I know that he had the highest, or he was the first one to beat the hard mode in the other one, too. He, he played with Divios and who, uh, Sam for soccer? Yeah, that's Day to Remember. Vigilous ABC. Apparently he's like a try, a try hard in my PV. Hidden Blade in a Assassin's Creed is actually called Hidden Blade. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's too bad for this guy. Like, he needs an opening. If I don't give it to him, he can't. Oh, Whoa! Okay. I like that. He combined his his efforts. He had to use the tower. He had to. <laughs> there was a lot going for him there. He used it. Used my overextension. Got the nice little jump. He did ult uh, when he didn't need to. So at least we got that out from him. But. Hey, what's up, Oats? Happy Thanksgiving, man. I'm probably not gonna be here on Thanksgiving tomorrow. Maybe at night. I'm not sure what time I'm getting home. I hope I will be able to. I'd like to. Probably going to. I'm gonna be honest. It might be late, but there will be Thanksgiving stream. Watch out! I say that to YouTube as if this video won't come out after Thanksgiving, which it almost definitely will. He went Celestial Legion Helms. That's there, like an old bridge item that. Actually, no, no, no. I'm thinking the other one, the Imperial Helm. Um, Celestial just gives you stacks of protections. And take a physical damage to God. Stacks of protection after taking. Hmm. That's interesting. Does it work better against multiple gods, though? Maybe I gave him the room, you know, by underestimating him there. As I said not to, I always say, don't underestimate this guy, and then I underestimate the shit out of them by doing something crazy. But, at least I've, you know, backed it up with enough pressure here that hopefully he will be okay. But you just really do have to be careful of him being unkillable. Yeah, that was the old anti-crit item. That's why I have no idea what it does. Damn. I'm so pumped. I finally did it right. Alright. I think we got a shell. I'm yeah, pretty sure. Life steal up here. He missed the hammer on us and the wave, so now we get guaranteed rip up. Yeah, it's an interesting one, Celestial Legion. I definitely have not seen it yet in Duel. I'm guessing there's a reason for that. I don't have time to really, you know, mull it over too closely now. I don't know if the stacks are applied easily uh, from a single target. Or if it's something where you need multiple people hitting you, but I don't know. If Mercury hits you a lot, so. Let's see. Now we go. We will go double defense, but go into Genji probably. Like I said, even though he is a guardian, you gotta um, you gotta build and play properly against them, especially as someone like Mercury. I mean, if I was like you know, an ABC, obviously I wouldn't go double defense. Even though I don't go double defense on pretty much anybody. Watch out! You know what I mean. Over there! Watch out! I gotta go for the uh, bull demon. But I really want a ward. I'm sure he knows where he is. Over. We do take it so quickly though. Wow, he should not have tried that. Not sure why he did. It was obviously not within range, but he went for the big play. He's definitely going to suffer for it. He should die here as well. I think this is it. You have slain an enemy. 
with us taking the Phoenix, there's not much hope. Devilos were a perfect pickup in this position. You know, it's a really great item on Mercury, especially when it's hard for them to prioritize anti heal. He wasn't able to get it until now. And it just it transitions into such a fantastic late game item, gives him a lot of power, too. Your Watch team out. has destroyed a middle enemy phoenix. Sometimes I wish Smite were more like Yu-Gi-Oh! And the builds were really more involved, and like you can build like a, a deck that... Not to make it like super complicated, but just to like... You know, just, I, I just want it to be like a metaphorical deck as your build, you know? Where like your build is actually an extension of yourself and you can use it based on uh, your playstyle and shit, you know? I mean, that would be cool. Over there. But there weren't just like set items that were, you know, best in scenario. But so, uh, cut and, cut and paste. Copy and paste, cut and paste. <laughs> uh, I thought he was gonna go Alright, uh, right, he's going all in. We might be able to take him. We can be close to stop this stream of consciousness. Oh god, they're close. Oh my god, he's he's vulnerable. No way. Son of a bitch. You know what's funny? You know, I think my his Nemean even. That you died on purpose. Did he have a Nemean? No, he didn't. Never mind. Okay, so it was all just the, <laughs> the damage from the one. That's okay. The uh, Phoenix will, won't be back up yet. We could go Shogun's here, but generally we don't want too much attack speed with him. Oh I think in this yeah, position we do, spend. though, because we're going... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. The question is what the hell to get for this item. Oh, I'm gonna go hasten. It's settled. I'm so fast. Yeah, I love this item so much. Not that it's complete yet, but... Such a fantastic item on Mercury, the uh, Katana. Given the ability to keep up with people. Uh, not only through the passive, but through the movement speed, and then of course the movement speed, synergizing with his passive. And giving a good amount of uh, raw power, too. Let's take him down. I'm gonna end this right now. Okay. You could die for that. Over there. Oh, mm -hmm. got, got him. The thing was there, he uh her he got horrific. So many people get horrific emblem against Mercury, and I have no idea why. He's slow immune during his two, and like everybody knows that, but they all still go horrific. And he horrific us, we were slow immune, they were able to just keep sticking to him and kill him. Having the more movement speed there was definitely key. Mercury dot yep. zip. GG. Oh. <laughs> right, we got it, guys. We did it. The retro Zeus avatar has been claimed. Oh my god. Hell too. This is it. We're in there right now. One more avatar, please. Oh my god. A Thor clap emote. We got a Thor clap. Finally.